I like this news event so much I thought I would share it. You know the best way to turn a peaceful protest into a riot? Have police show up in riot gear and tear gas and then just tear gas the bloody shit out of the protesters and you have a riot. It seems that the Columbus, Ohio Police Department wanted to train their police officers in how to start a riot. Which I think is a great idea. We need more fucking riots. Um, we don't need any peaceful protesting people out there. Wouldn't want them to exercise their constitutionally guaranteed right to protest. We want more riots, not protesting. So, approximately 20 police officers went to the training field and on the way destroyed three police squad cars. They just kind of slammed into each other. I wonder, parenthetical element, if any of the drivers of those police cars were tested for being under the influence of some intoxicant. Just throwing that out there. When they got to the training field, it seems that the first way to start a riot is to tear gas the bloody shit out of people. So they, the instructors decided, hey, let's show these police officers how to use tear gas, how to use the, the launcher and, you know, just tear gas the shit out of the training field. So then they launched at least a dozen tear gas canisters. They didn't bother checking to see which direction the wind was blowing. You know what was downwind of the training field? An elementary school in session filled with little children. I suppose they wanted to get little children um, uh, acclimated to tear gas so that when they grow up to protest, they'll be used to it, maybe. I don't know. Anyhow, the tear gas cloud floated over to the elementary school, got in through the doors and windows, and sought out all the little children. <laughs> cowering in fear from the gas. <sighs> professional. That's the word. Professional. Thank you guys. It's great to know that you know what the fuck you're doing. If it wasn't so fucking funny, it would be not funny. I remember the first riot I was in quite fondly. It was at Newport Beach, California, close to the 4th of July. My brother and I were at the beach. Um, a parent dropped us off. I think we were maybe, I don't know, 16 or 17 years old. We were at the pier. And somebody near the pier, at the base of the pier, at one of the uh, novelty stores, grabbed a trash can and threw it against a store window. The trash can bounced off. So he picked it up, slammed it against the window again, it bounced off again. He picked it up a third time, slammed it even harder against the window, and the window shattered. He then grabbed something that was in display uh, in the window and ran. Somebody watching it wasn't me or my brother, thought, hey, that was pretty fucking cool, and took up the trash can, same trash can, slammed it against another store window, it shattered, and he grabbed something and ran. Pretty soon, a hell of a lot of store windows were being smashed with anything and everything that could smash a window, and dozens of store windows 
uh, were smashed and dozens of stores were robbed. <laughs> This would have promptly ended because a hell of a lot of people um, objected to people doing that. Except the police showed up and said, hey, we got a riot situation. We need to crack down on these rioters. They were actually thieves, a very tiny minority. But the anti-riot squads that showed up just started grabbing people and beating them. Just people standing around watching the other thieves smashing windows. And when a police officer grabs people and just starts punching their faces in, um, other people tend to get irate at what the police officers are doing. And so they congregated to observe what the police were doing. The police, being paranoid and for good reason, saw that the crowds were piling up around them and watching their behavior, called for backup! And the backup stormed in there with their riot gear, with their batons flailing, and the tear gas flowing. And what was just a minor little smash and grab turned into a city-wide, coastal-wide riot. My brother and I um, retreated farther and farther up the pier trying to get away from this, this mob of people just punching and, and kicking everybody else and the police. Until there was no... no the end of the pier was there, and um, the police riot finally settled down, and later that evening a parent came and picked us up and asked, how was the riot? And, and I wish video cameras had been popular back then, damn it. <sighs> Fond memories. We need more fond memories like that. Go police! More rioting, please!